in this video we will learn how to create this amazing stardust photo effect using photoshop cs6 extended it will be amazing and super fast as well it will be fun so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is adnan chaudhary from tasty tutorials and today we will create a stardust photo effect and we will use stardust photoshop actions which are really premium and i think it will be great and having some amazing glowing output and let's start our work let me just show you what we can create using these actions so this is a simple particular image i just increase this uh, side room and create a selection and fill it with uh, any color and after applying our effect it will look like this amazing and fast I like this because it has some glowing particles inside lines and you can see that these are pretty much amazing okay so let's move to the next image this so we have created selection around this like this and fill it with any color it doesn't matter which color you are using so you can use any color I'm using this time red just because uh, to show you the difference so there is no difference so uh, after applying our effect it will be look like this uh, we have four directions uh, uh, we have watch just uh, right direction this is the left one and in this uh, i mean in any direction you can just turn off your background too so it could look like more interesting with having some other things like you can change some color options in that and some other settings like brightness contrast and each and every particle you can change turn off turn on or whatever you want to do with this so if you want to edit anything you just need to use this mask so it will be very easy to get back to the original effect uh, if you don't like your changes so you can just delete that mask and all the effect will be done so like if you want to uh, this is the stardust effect and if you want that this will not uh, visible on that so what we'll do is we'll select this mask we'll select our brush tool having some soft brush or hard brush depending on your choice size it down according to your needs and simply just paint over it and you will see that it will automatically hide so uh, like this one wherever you want we if you don't like this side like this if you have sometime it's changes so it your foreground color is black and you can just do it now you think you now you can also see that it looks more creepy and look like so ugly you just need to do is we'll just select this mask and click and drag it on delete so what we'll do is we'll just delete that mask and you will be get back your original effect so we'll click on that and that's it you can do you can edit anything in that like open this up and close these all small groups you can turn off these glowing lights you can turn off anything you want to be uh, there are lots of things you can change in that like these clouds with these small particles you can change anything you would like to change so what else uh, let's just move to the next image this is the simple example to show you from the downside so this is the simple image i just increased the room as well you can see that simply now we'll create a selection around this character because we want to apply our effect only on this character so we don't want to include these sides so these are subtracted from our original selection and the original layer will not be affected because we have created a separate layer for this image so after applying our effect it will look like uh, wait for the process because this image is really high definition and it will take a little time to load it into our selection so that's the effect we will get uh, I hope you like this one and you can see that it is having some great glowing edges and you can see there are some glowing particles up from uh, going to the downside uh, pretty much amazing and lovely so same thing you can just turn off this background turn on this background you it, it all depends on you how you like to do so if you want to turn off these uh, clouds you can see that there is little changing in that if you turn off or turn on this and if you want to turn off this uh, original layer and this all overall effect and these uh, adjustments so it all depends on you 
so i hope you like this one too and let's just move to the next image this one is an example of middle effect so let's just turn off this and the original effect was look like this okay so this is the original image i just increased the room as well as i did in every single image so i'm not speaking so fast i try my best to speak slow because uh, it's my habit to do that you can see that you can say uh, i really uh, speak so much fast uh, in my uh, native language that's why i've got problems so but i'm trying to practice speak slowly to for you guys because you are really meaningful for me so this is the um, original image and after applying our effect let me just take it out from this group and we'll select press shift and select all of these into a single layer okay so uh, we have created a selection you can see that turn on anything which is uh, off and uh, so uh, after doing this selection applying our effect you can see that having some amazing edges you can see that these lines are still going to the inside of this center you can see that and uh, having some glowing edges some particles and these type of things look gives amazing uh, look to this image you can same you can just turn off this background too and look like creepy but uh, you can choose a black background because it will uh, visible all other effects in that image so we'll hide this group let's move to the next it will be my it is my favorite and we will do uh, our today's tutorial on that so this is the bike concept bike of honda and uh, i just did a rotation of this we will do, do it later but this is the uh, bike simple bike and i just created selection around this bike uh, you can see that nice hard selection you can see that every edge is covered with that selection now uh, after applying my effect it will look like uh this look at this amazing little pink reddish color uh let's just zoom it in and uh maybe a little more look at this bike and with having some amazing glowing lines and some edges you can see that pretty much amazing and lovely you can change your bike color and your all effect will be changed into that color so not after applying uh, this effect before you apply this effect you can change any type of color or you can bump up any color and right after that you can apply effect and the effect will be applied according to that color so i hope you like this one too so let's just start our work without wasting your time uh, i have taken too much time of you guys so what we'll do is We'll simply just select our uh, image uh, like this image I am going to use. We should just rename this maybe. Oh, no. Uh, delete that. We'll just uh, rename that because this name bike is already exist. So that's nice. Okay, so now we'll drag this. Why it is dragging inside this? Because we are not dragging it right okay so we have this bike uh, like nice and now what we'll do is we'll press t and simply rotate this to horizontal so it will change its directions now now we want to increase the room so we'll simply just press c or you can select the crop tool and click and zoom it out and select as much wider as you want to do so like this one it's pretty much enough so maybe it look like uh, nice here yeah there there we go so maybe it, it still is going sorry for the traffic and uh, click on this check mark now what we'll do is uh, this image is basically in png it's not important to use uh, png images i'm just in importing png because i don't need to create selection so it will be easier for me so we'll create a new layer and we'll press control and give it a click so it will create a nice selection around this bike and we will fill it with any color like we can select a green color so i will select green color so press control alt plus backspace to fill it with green color press control d you can see that it is nicely filled now we'll select this background layer 
then go to adjustments solid color and then fill it with any color because it will hidden uh, inside uh, behind that black background now we'll press shift select both of these layers and press ctrl e to fill it uh, to merge them into a single layer but we did it wrong because we didn't put it on top so now it will be visible on top like this now what else is left is uh, selecting this layer we'll go to layer new and click on background from layer so it will lock this layer and name this as background which is important for our actions and now we'll select our top layer and name this as brush like this now now what uh, what thing is L, uh, left is we need to load our or we can say that uh, our actions so we'll click on this uh, play button or if you are not seeing this one you go just go to windows and click on actions okay and just turn off this this now click on this uh, icon and go to load actions from this load action just click on stardust uh, photoshop uh, we can say that uh, folder if you extracted that you will see that there is only one file which is stardust and click this file and click on load as i already loaded it into my action so i don't need to do it again now we click on this uh, arrow and you will see that there are different directions visible in that uh, there are up direction down right left middle so for this particular image you can see that we have created a room on this right side so we will select our right side uh, direction so click on this uh, check mark or we can see that arrow select this uh, selection layer we want to purge this uh, before playing actions so click on this uh, right and go to edit purge and all so it will remove the photoshop history so uh, we can say that photoshop actions history so uh, what it will do is it will increase the performance of your photoshop for these particular actions so we click on ok and now our time to play this action so we'll play the actions and wait for the process to complete its work because there are lots of processes so it will take a little time so have a patience and we will meet after completion of this work so we'll click this play button and wait for this process to complete its work okay so the process is completed now just need to close this uh, action panel so click on this double playing arrows and it will turn close these uh, side panels now press alt control and click so it will close all these groups at once now you can see that this amazing killing output I, I love to say that killing output look at this having some great output is look like uh, love and uh, little detail you can see that small stars and dots and this uh, amazing shine and uh, all over this image you can see that and having some lights and other things what we can edit in that so I already showed you what we can edit that you can even turn on these flares just click on these flares and all of these flares are turned on look at this uh, looks great and you can turn uh, change this uh, blurness turn off and turn on you can see that much betterly and these glowing particles these glowing lines you can turn on or turn off these and all the bike uh, colors this overall color overlay look at this it looks also great but having this is is amazing and now you can see that you can see that everything is perfect in that action uh, if you want to visible on that looks great like having these particles right on this side but if you turn off on this it will visible the bike and uh, you can turn on this mask you can turn on these particles or increase this increase these uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, quantity like press ctrl j and then pick and drag them and increase it like this so you can see that it gives a great output to your image 
and having some blurred motion lines you can see that and these uh, blurred lines background lines and this background you can turn off this background to look at this uh, but I will suggest to use a dark uh, we can say that background it will look great and these uh, shadows we can say that this cloud texture and uh, I hope you like this one and what else is it close this stardust and we'll turn on this uh, adjustments you can just select this single image and look at, look like this one you can increase even this uh, uh, colors add contrast more contrast you can make make it more looks great and uh, you can edit everything in that and i hope you like this video and it will help you a lot and if you're facing problem you just comment down below uh, when i will read comments i will try my best to uh, reply each and every comment because i love i love to read your comments and uh, it it it, give, it gives me a great feelings because if you are watching this video you are commenting that it will be great it will get feedback for me that people are liking or not or if you are dislike that or if you like that please make sure to hit that like button right under this video and uh, if you want a special request you can just request me uh, write comment also and go to facebook page also because facebook page is like uh, a great way to check out the new updates i will always uh, mention in the on that pages on my page and the page link is facebook.com slash tasty tutorials and uh, same thing like uh, go and like facebook page also if you like my work because i pay lots of uh, efforts on that page and on, on that uh, we can say channel and i love my channel because it's great it's great for me and i hope it will be so for you also and one thing if you want if you want that uh, if you want to, to apply this effect by me if you want that i i should apply effect on your image so just go to fiverr and order me on fiverr so i could uh, do it on fiverr so my fiverr link is fiverr.com slash visual developers and I will give a link under this video so you if you want to hire me or for this effect i will do it for you guys and just order me on fiverr it will be great so i hope you like my video if you like my channel if you like my videos if you like my effort and if you want to support me anyway there is only one way you can just click on that subscribe button and it will be great for you guys because i will suggest i will create some new videos and you will get each and every update of my single every single video and you will get updates and have notification and click on that small bell button so you could get notified by my new videos so i have talked a lot and i think so much and let's just finish our closed our today's tutorial and i hope you like this video stay tuned stay happy stay safe and never stop and keep learning